there were so many things I was going to do at the first of this week for this video. And I honestly don't know what happened. Well, you know, you get things on your mind and the things that you think you're going to do end up not happening because of other things going on. And so we had the girls and my husband hunting. We had my brother-in-law down to go hunting with them. I did an activity with the little girls in, in our congregation uh, with my daughter. And then we were waiting for soil and for gravel to come. And today I was even going to do some things. And then the soil and gravel came. <laughs> and so I didn't do that. And I sat down and I decided to lay out my garden beds uh, on paper so that when I go out to finally plant here that I'll be ready for that. So this is just a little gab, a little um, update on things. We did get our soil. We've got tons of soil back there. We will be moving that soil into our garden beds and into the backyard here where it's just all rocks. so that we can plant our grass. Our kids are begging us for grass and so we're going to get grass in the backyard. It's the only place we'll, where we'll have some grass. Um, my husband's worried our lawnmower won't start because he hasn't started it for several years and uh, he's all, well if it doesn't maybe we'll just get a push mower and I'm like I'm fine with that. I think that would be fun to have just a push mower because we aren't going to have a lot of grass. So, so that's our project coming up in the next few days and into the weekend. So we'll be filming some of that, getting our garden beds in and, and getting that stuff situated. And, um, and I'm excited about that because there's so many things that I need to plant into the garden beds. We're at that point where some of our pre-frost date plants can go right in the ground. And we've been warm enough that our ground is is workable so that we can plant seeds and do that kind of thing. Uh, we did buy um, some drip line that we're going to be putting into the garden beds so that we can be uh, utilizing our water uh, to the best, uh, to, to the most efficient way. Uh, we're already on water restrictions for our area. We can only water f from either 6 to 10 a.m. or 6 to 10 p.m. on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Uh, but we can't do both six, both the morning and the evening, only one. And so we want to do drip lines. So the water's going right to the plants and we're not uh, watering rocks and things that don't need to be watered. Um, our grass seed that we've got, uh, when I get that in the mail, uh, I'll show that to you because I uh, decided to look up what is the best drought resistant grass out there. And we found a product called Pearls Premium and um, it's it's a kind of grass that will grow roots that are up to a foot deep and uh, once it's established it takes about 18 months to fully establish so we got to take really good care of it over the next two summers but once it's established it only needs to be watered uh, you know like once a month and mowed like once a month or once every three weeks or something like that I'll, I'll read the packet I'll show you the package when we get it um, so I'm excited to have that, to be able to have grass that's not going to take a ton of water so that we aren't wasting water on lawn. Um, we've had some uh, sad developments with our dog. Our dog is 11 years old and she is struggling to walk. She, for the last couple weeks, has not been going outside to do, she can't even hold it to go outside to do her business. And so we know that she's getting to a point where we need to make some decisions about her life, which is hard because she's a member of the family. And so we're going to be doing that here in the next few days, having to make those kinds of decisions. Um, on a good note, our broiler chicks are doing great. We haven't lost any since the first three that we lost shortly after they arrived. So we're still at 38 chicks. And they're doing really well. We, uh, I pulled out my list of how much they're supposed to be fed uh, week by week and have uh, written, them, written it down so that I know when to increase their feed amounts. And we will be rationing their food. And that will help them to grow at a more stable rate 
so that they don't overgrow too fast and end up dying of heart attacks like I did with the last 80. So that was on me. That was nothing to do with the chicks or where they came from or anything. That was just me not uh, doing what I knew I needed to do uh, to begin with. So, so, so goods, the ups and downs, the goods, the bads, the uglies of homesteading life. And, uh, and especially when you're, you are building something from scratch. You know, we've been here two years and what we've done with our yard and, and our homestead has been phenomenal. And we have been truly blessed to be able to do the things we've been able to do. Uh, I've been discouraged about the garden because all my seeds starting, I just have not done a good job with. Um, and that's my own fault too, but I'm learning. And so it's experiments where I'm learning things and I realize, okay, these are seeds, they need to stay damp all the time and I haven't been doing that. And so, uh, so that's what I'm, I've got to work on. We're gonna be doing some planting inside because it's time to do squash and cucumber and and uh, tomatoes and all those things and get those started in the greenhouse and then um, there's a whole bunch of things like we planted our peas and the peas are actually doing really good um, but I want to get things like radishes and beets and and a lot of those um, root crops in so that I can have those things growing uh, and uh, I, I'm really I'm still excited I'm still uh, looking forward to the experiment, finding what I can do, finding what I, finding out what I what I can't do, uh, or what I need to do differently. And I'm glad that you're here and going along the ride with us. So, stay tuned. We do have more coming, lots of fun things coming up, and our homestead is changing and growing for the better. And we're grateful that you're here with us. Tell me what your biggest struggles are for your homesteading or for your growing anything. I know not everybody has a space to, to grow stuff and so sometimes it's just planting in pots on the on the deck. What are your biggest struggles? What are your biggest success? Give us a let us know in the comments and uh, and if you have any questions about what we're going to do and the kinds of things we're gonna plant, leave those in the comments as well. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye.